Hello, and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to some more Tarcom Unknown Space. Uh, if you notice, uh, yesterday I kind of made the video about building uh, ships and stuff like that. Uh, I made some more changes. Um, I went and opened, uh, I killed a few more things. We got some more neutronium. I ended up with 20 of them uh, instead of the 10 I needed, uh, which works out because uh, this thing is weird shaped anyway. And like for some reason you can't turn it so that you can like put it here. Uh it it has to go like sideways like this. So I ended up putting two shields in. So now we have lots of shields. Uh it takes forever for to break my shields down. Uh it's great. It's great. Awesome. Uh so we have a couple of things that we have going. Uh so over over here, I think. There's this little weird guy. Maybe it wasn't there. Um, there, there's a little weird guy here. I mean, I'll, I'll go show you. Uh, is it not showing me? It doesn't show it. There's this little weird, like, satellite thing that I found, like, right down here. Uh, and that opened this spot up here. Uh, and then the other thing we have open is, uh, the diplomat. So we're gonna go to the diplomat. Uh, this thing's a lot faster. Um, it's got two more two engines and, like, uh, like eight. <laughs> Mark, Mark one engines. Uh, it's got two or three Mark uh, two reactors. It's got ten batteries, and then one, two, four, six, thirteen guns, uh, plasma guns. Uh, and I'm at like fifty five points. Like I'm completely maxed out. I can't get any more uh, things. Uh, I, I need to the next the next step be opening the uh, the larger ship. Um, uh, so that we have more points, uh, and then uh, we'll have uh, the ability to make the uh, the largest ship, uh, and hopefully, um, uh, once hopefully after today, uh, we'll be able to have the lasers opened, uh, so we can start putting points into that, uh, and then uh, once we get done with all that, uh, we will work on what what's that? Oh, it's a burst relay. So this is a burst relay. Uh, so I, I found two of these already, and they open this location over here. Uh, but we'll, so, and they look like these little weird things. So they just sit here, and, and if we zoom in, it's like this little weird little dragonfly looking thing. Uh, another burst relay station, mesh fragment of the Matrix. Arrived right at search of Academy observations provide some useful intelligence, right? So we'll, we, uh, so whenever you find those, I'll show up like little purple guys like that. Uh, and then you can uh, you can do the investigation. And I assume as you you find more and more of those, it opens more locations. Uh, so, uh, and then the other thing I did too, uh, at some point, they told me about the uh, this guy down here, the uh, the relic. Uh, so part of the thing was is I blew up all the stuff around the relic uh, to help me get some parts. Uh, so uh, I have a bunch of things I need to research. Because uh, I haven't actually researched them yet, uh, because I, I, I was gonna wait. I was waiting for you guys. You know, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying not to jump too far ahead. But you know, sometimes, sometimes you just gotta play and blow stuff up. Uh, and and the other part of it was, is I was trying to get some advancement towards some of the, uh, uh, have a better ship, uh, and be able to to stand stand our ground uh, with this this shield now. Uh, this this thing is. It's, it's, it's bad. <laughs> it, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty unstoppable. So we got uh, a little bit further here. So we'll do that. We'll, we'll run over to the relay real fast also. Uh, and I'll, I'll uh, do the actual investigation of that. Uh, and then um, we'll see where we are with time wise and kind of go from there <laughs> anything fun try heading to the next one lander touches a broad blade not far a large cave fit to middle live approaches the cliff is revealed the overgrown ruins of fallen part structure cave opening is an archway clear signs the interior been modified from its original layout some passages sealed off large stone blocks there's painted on the wall translate to the warning the tomb of Uk -Gak. 
Turn back weaklings, fools, and cowards. Only death and shame awaits within. Get out of the corridor, slope south, and into the darkness. <laughs> yeah, have the team go south. The Titans in a narrow, high ceiling corridor of hard white stone. Irregular but uh, geometric protrusions lightly protrude from the faces, creating sharp objects. Eventually, branches to the east and west corridor. So north would have us head back out. Uh, we'll go east. In all directions. Uh, go south. Walks through the dark echoing. South. Uh, east. South. East. While a skeleton of a miracle bottle, uh, clutched in hands of something resembling a battle axe. A pouch, uh, in a pouch pocket is some copper coins and a carefully tucked into pressure roll of animal skin. Crude drawn guiding along some glyphs. This is Fallen Empire representing the top travel, sorry, and rest. 19 copper. That team go west. Uh, so I think we already went south and east. I don't know, because I, I went basically southeast, 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 southeast. Uh, so we'll go north, west, north, north, west, north. Leave for the ship and return for now. I will try again later. A little survey in progress. Uh, so basically what I need to do is, is map the whole place out and figure out what else is down there. Probably should look at that one first. Then we'll go to the guest giant. We'll see if there's any way to get out of here other than... Traveling ha halfway across the galaxy. Uh, we don't have a flinger or a gate yet. Usually there's a flinger or a gate. Thus I just need to go bounce my way through that. If, uh, oh, there's a gate. Wormhole gate. What's this? Anything? Anything? Then... Part of Dragon Ash Thaw and Ice Fluctuations upon its orbit, signs to point critically damage. Some battle tensure go most of value rich to salvage. Ooh, Neutronium! Melt through the ice. And titanium. Yay! Uh, so we'll go back down here to this guy right here. So this is a, a large relic uh, that's that's been in the game for a while. Um, I think it was in, I want to say very early uh, when, when I started playing the game anyway. It's, uh, it's pretty cool stuff. And it's a good place to come because you end up getting uh, cargo. Oh, let's see. Brass pillar. So let's do that. Extract shapes. Stone skulls. Green Glyphsphere. Hybrid tech. I found this at the, the thing. Appears to be interface line. Fallen Empire control system to communicate with remnant technology. Okay, that's cool. Touching device I bought from somebody. Portable distillation plant probably capable of 2,000 liters per day. I uh, use reverse osmosis. Uh, our techniques are superior, but it uh, does have some interesting ideas. A smelly appliance. I bought that also. The drive is a variety of algae and uh, cyanobacteria and the food bar. Can't show the bar is technically edible for humans, but would uh, work better as it in an anemic. I don't know. Drive instrument. Likely a key component of the drive system uses an imperial war hose that needs to travel. And the burst transmitter, which is the things we keep running into. Capable of transmitting short burst high. All right, cool, easy enough. Uh, so this, I'm going to, basically, I've been just pushing points into their, into this. Whatever their, their maximum is, I just, like, max and, uh, just pumping points into whatever the, uh, their highest skill was. It's, it seems to work for me. So that way we have, we have lots of points for all the stuff. It's, it's good fun. Uh, so with that, we should be able to go back, uh, that are planetoid. Strange objects were found. These asteroids strongly points not being able to natural build. Destroyed by some cataclysmic force. 
So basically, the asteroid that's up there uh, is you, you, once you find all the parts to it, you're like, oh, this must have been a planet at some point. So we'll go over here. We'll look at the uh, the derelict debris. Uh, I will say, if you do come over here to uh, the derelict and you uh, do look around it, uh, be very careful uh, and make sure you bring some fire firepower uh, because there are pieces that float around this thing. Like this one's not that bad. That's not the one you got to worry about. That little shiny one there, though. <laughs> Radium, ethron, and uh, adamantine. The survey team wants to see the broken crystal wreckage. Our tools are able to cut through most of the vessel. Wonders to know what particular destroyed it. Uh, root found resources can't uh, can be assessed. All right, so they've been dragged through numerous power and data connections. Awesome. Uh, so this guy here, the the ones that kind of shine like that, uh, be really careful with those because they like to uh, they like to soak a lot of damage. Oh wow, they're, they're soaking a lot of damage today. There he goes. And then they, they, they like to explode. Spectacularly. Uh, and if you are close enough to them, they will, they will cause problems for you. Alright, so we got those guys. Um, let's see, let's go up here. Let's go to that guy. And then, I want to say... Uh... Oh wait, so there's okay, I need to go back over to there to that guy. Oh, okay, okay, I, I, I know where I'm at now. Alright, easy enough. You know what? Before I go up there, let's go let's go let's go there instead. Oh, just a little fire damage. We're just we're just a little on fire. It's just a little close to the sun. Once your ship starts getting wide enough, you get too close to the sun, it has a tendency to burn pieces of your ship off. It, it, they're fine. They'll grow back. <laughs> oh, good. I really do enjoy this game. I, 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 I've I been having a lot of fun with this game uh, and Terra Tech. Uh, I, I've, I've been having a lot of fun with it. Uh, I've been looking at some of the other games that maybe I've missed. Uh, Cosmoteer. Uh, and even though we played a little bit of Cosmoteer when it came out, and then uh, I think there's Star Sector. Star Sector I never really got into. Um, so I'm looking at maybe doing something with that next. I don't know. I, I just get on a space kick and uh, All right, let's go ahead. Let's go back down here to this guy here. Able to locate a small escape pod, scan show life in a nearby cave, him approaches the cave of caution. Inside the cave, you find a gaunt nimbus surrounded by a disorganized array of crates and uh, survival equipment. She eyes the survey team with suspicion and hunger. I'm a diplomat and a story of Nimmin, who are you? Him and Nimmin himself as Starcom representative and provide the diplomat with communication speed to the enemy. Uh, ask him what happened to the ship. We're on a good will mission, tried to improve relations with the uh, Terrans, and they attacked us. I was able to escape, but they destroyed my ship one of the escorts. Hey, hey about the com buffer data. Com buffer, I think it registered our flight plan with the current, so they should have to expect us. That must be what you saw. <laughs> yeah, think through that stuff. Despite her objections, the team opens the crates. Besides expected life pod survival equipment, there are a huge number of gold bars. I uh, carry these for an exact purpose. Consider payment for my rescue. Uh, make no commitment to a suspicious story about the demon uh, yeah, you're, you're lying. Nice try, though. Initially, feigns indignation, then professes innocence, but eventually she confesses. An unknown agent has been blackmailing her for years with information that has run her and her powerful family. She has been paying them off and then demanding one last payment along with some sensitive information. After delivering, delivering the information to an unmarked vessel, they were attacked. She begs you to not reveal this to the demon. She didn't know that the data was military secrets appealed to transcend his execution. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm sorry, I don't lie for, for anyone. Good good job though. So we'll uh we'll take that under advisement. Alright, so now we need to go take her back to the Nimmin. So we will do that. And then basically at some point uh we should 
uh, I, I need to get down this path so I can get lasers. Uh, I, I believe I, it's either the Nimmin or the Karen that, that give us the lasers. Uh, so we are, we are working towards, we are working towards lasers. Uh, mostly cause usually I, I burn, uh, and, and pick up laser or pick up another weapon. Uh, it's, it's hard to go this far in, uh, with, with just the stock. Uh, and honestly, at this point, we have no upgrades whatsoever that we put into, uh, into any of our weapons. So these guys are in, in for lots of trouble once, once we actually start, once we actually start putting points into, into weapons, they're going to be, they're going to be in trouble because we're already causing this much damage. Where are you going? No, go over there. Why, why, are, why are you crazy ship? I understand I probably told you to go there, but still. Go where I want, not where I tell you to go. All right, so we'll go ahead and go ahead and talk to this guy here. We have found a survivor of the, the missing vessel. Full account of the ship log pertaining to the events. Yep, there you go. There's everything we have. All right. Uh, we've had enough talking to you guys. All right. Now it should. Go up to that planet. Are they, are they friendly? I think they're friendly with, yeah, they're friendly with me now. Now we're basically allied with them. And usually when I go through this, this section of the map, uh, I usually, I try to be honest and, you know, very forthright in my, uh, my dealings as I do most times. One of these days I'll come through here and be shady and, uh, side, side with the other guys. I'm a, Maybe uh maybe once we get done, uh if there's enough enough call for it, maybe we'll do another uh Terran Empire uh playthrough. Where and we we've kinda done that this time, uh, but the Terran Empire you have to be careful with that one because because you break the game uh when you do it. Uh if we're hope that Demon have not convinced the Stark Cod to ally against us. Favor trade uh partner status, fair exchanges for resources, even a remnant object. We have finished studying. Sure, we'd like to trade with you. So basically, this is a remnant device. So they're basically gonna we'll buy that. Uh, as as always, during the racial like, star count, mutually mutually beneficial. So we are still going up here to that thing. <laughs> they're running into each other. That's awesome. Uh. So we are moving a little bit faster now, uh, and ultimately we'll get back, and hopefully, hopefully we'll have lasers. What's this? Let's, we'll go talk to the skipper. Uh, these guys are still. Uh, Just go and then go up there. What are you doing? There you go. I was too close to the uh, the station and it didn't know how to how to get around it. So I think they have us go up here to this this uh, location. We'll scan it real quick, and then then we'll go to war. the survey team if I uh, fortified structures built the mountains of icy world cautious approach the team is able to gain access Very fourth main doors are cut open with powerful laser uh, once inside the team finds a deep shaft leaving the underground vault uh, complex the shaft is uh, punctuated by doors also cut easily cut through acquired a quantum container uh, the lowest level of chaos from 
remains of the team gets to some kind of research facility. Most of the equipment has been removed, but inside the chamber, the universal translator identifies this as secondary containment. The team finds it intact. All right, so that... I think... Leads us back down to here. We will, we will drive back down. Uh, no, no, we don't want to talk to them right now. Go away, go away! Get out. Oh my lord, maybe turn around and go the wrong way. I'll, I will start shooting you. Alright, just go. Oh, actually, I want to do... This, we'll go to cargo. Quantum computer will analyze that. 90 research points. And then we'll, the remnant device, it's another 55 points. I believe this is where we're supposed to go back down here. But we will find out here in a second. If not, I will head to that location. Slowly make our way over there. I think there's a couple of, of places I need to go that have little things that I haven't finished yet. But we will we will slowly make our way there. <laughs> Dive down there to this guy. Nope, that's not it. Go talk to this guy again. No artifacts for sale. All right. Well, I got to go do something else then. All right, let's go check this guy out over here. They're still still not allowing me to get my get my lasers. I want my lasers. Okay, let's go. Just go. Yeah, you get too close to the stations, and it doesn't it doesn't know which way to go because it so it doesn't it ram somebody uh, and cause damage to your ship or start a war uh, because you cause too much damage to one of the ships or you blow up their station. Uh, they have a tendency to get a little upset with you, uh, so it doesn't want to start firing the engines because it doesn't know how to how to turn. You know, this thing's so wide now that it's starting to cause some problems. I say, heck, I don't even think we put that much points into the engines yet. We'll eventually, uh, we'll eventually get some more points. Well, the ultimate plan is, is kind of once we beat the the uh, the current state state of the game, uh, we'll go in. Um, if if you guys want a video that that shows me trying or how how, how I edit the save file, um, leave me a comment down below. Uh, and and I'll put a I put a video together that kind of shows you how to do it. It's a lot of uh, you know do at your own risk sort of thing, um, but uh, it, it's easy enough to do. Uh, you just have to kind of take your time and, and do it, uh, and you know kind of kind of go through and oh there's another guy. There. There's a burst relay down there again. So whenever I see these burst relays show up, I try to I try to uh, to get them. Message fragment of the matrix portal code Nimmin will allow us passage, but no safe refuge. Run and use it. Uh, void readout. All right. So we have somebody else. The the Nimmin are uh, 
being Nimmin. So whenever I find those burst turrets, I've just been kind of grabbing them and, and marking them, and they don't seem to stay. They seem to be there for a little bit and then uh, seem to go away. So it's it's kind of important to grab those as you as you can and when, when you see them. All right, come on. Uh, we're almost there. We only see a star now, so that's 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 good. Should start seeing planets soon. So far here, and then you, sometimes they'll show up here on the map, uh, but they they disappear. It seems like after reload or, uh, or maybe they just they move or die out or something. It's hard to know. Hard to know. Still no planets, huh? <laughs> Doing 135, so that's good. Oh, there's a planet finally. Go ahead and change that location. Looks like a couple planets up here. Uh, I don't know why that thing's doing that. That was weird. Couple of couple of fun things up here. Pyramids of this world disappearing in the thick jungle and bends well of volcanic mountains that surround it. Co signs of orderly evacuation. The team searches for a nearby observation point in the hopes of recovering some chair light without, without success. Several kilometers west of the structure spots another overgrown structure. Uh, Lieutenant Prick sets down the lander down. Soon after approaching the ruins, they are approached by what at first glance appears to be a devout who beckons them. But observes their lack of ritual markings, so the team warily uh, follows the aliens inside the cave, like dwelling with a barrel, uh, buried empire structure. Others of the same uh, species are present, look here and write a hollow feed to Ganem. Oh, look at you. Welcome, alien beings. It's been over three generations since visitors have come. We are out of practice in our art of hospitality. Uh, as you can see, we are not overly encumbered by summoned objects. Uh, but I still retain the wisdom of the ancestors, which we'll gladly share. Who are you? Are you devout or heretics? If you're speaking uh, enchantment, is difficult for me to understand. I believe you refer to the believers and the academics. This distinction does not exist when we left. We only learned of it from later visitors. Our ancestors saw the cracks forming in the empire and was clear to them that the magic would soon be lost. Those who still depend on it would die, and uh, they unlearn their spells and re relearn new ones. You look like a lot like a devout. And the heretics, I, I assume, while the Empire called them many kinds of children, ours are theirs are the heirs of magical practice. There are no exclusions. Any uh, could be found any could be found in any but we left that to test faced fur fighters and many more. But our kind preferred the magical studies by custom. If you abandon the magic, what wisdom do you offer? Uh, there are as much uh, to know beside the fickle magic of an empire. We can teach you to patiently learn uh, knowledge of the heavens, the celebrities of life, and the patterns of nature. This is a custom of our hospitality. Uh, oh wow! We will take we'll take Astro. Sand brains learn something from the stern. It has several directions. The tutelage is intense and brief. Surprisingly, it consists of mostly of guided meditation. Results speak for themselves. After returning to the start time, after two protocol scores are significantly improved. Okay, well, I guess we only get one point.
All right, what else? Uh, we do have that thing that should probably allow us to get out of here. Oh, uh, because I have that thing I got. I have the auto uh, cruise mode was auto on. So it, it uh, basically was just going to town. Uh, I take Brigitte, use vision, and pulse drive, uh, thrust to propel itself through space. Fortunately, uh, whatever caused the crew to abandon ship wasn't a lack of fuel. Hey, uranium. All right, go grab this planet. Grab that one. Scan that one on the way through. No anomalies. More research points, though. Magnetic spikes. Yay, magnetic spikes. We'll go jump through the portal. See where the portal takes us. I did learn my lesson last time. Uh, going through the portal. Uh, we're going to do this. Activate the portal. All right. Uh, I showed up one time and there was a station there and uh, it almost destroyed me. All right, so that is gone good there. Uh, I guess we'll go back to Starcom. See if we see if we can get the the larger ship yet. See how that worked out for us. Do, do, do. All right. What's up, Starcom Command? All right. I'm very interested in the remnant wreck you found. The technology may be key to reopening the wormhole, besides being a great uh, interest to Starcom. Commander Dolson told me she suspected the brass pillar you found may be a uh, fragment related to the wreck. After conferring with the rest of the command uh, staff, I believe finding more objects like this is a priority. We'll do. All righty. Uh, let's go to research. Anything fun down here? Uh, doesn't look like anything new. Um, haven't opened lasers yet. Uh, can we open a cruiser hole? We have plenty of points to open a cruiser hole. We now have a cruiser hole opened. Uh, so then we're going to go to our shipyard and we're going to go to a uh, new ship. We're going to look at cruiser. I need nine neutronium. So I could uh, basically dump one of my shields and do it. Uh, but what I will probably do between uh, this episode and next is uh, go on the search for uh, more neutronium. Um, so that will be that will be my uh, my homework for today. Um, let's see. Uh, what is this? Plain old shafts. Fossil caves. I think. We just need to get over here to these guys, but I don't think this is the right location. We'll just go back over there again. Because I need, I, I need, so the artifact that uh, the Kirin gave us, uh, it's basically supposed to activate at the Nimmin base. Uh, well, it, it, in the past. Uh, it may not do that anymore. Uh, and it basically causes a problem and shuts them down and then causes all kinds of issues and once that happens then um they launch a surprise attack and uh then that that gives us the ability to to try to uh basically kick this war off and it gives us more people to fight and i, and I can do lasers so and you basically have to choose which which side you're gonna be on I'd like to pay with you. Nope. 
Just you just want to trade. But there was a different a different base. It was like their home world or something that I ended up going to at some point. Alright, so this stuff is not working for me. Try to go back up to that one. Let's see. Let me go look at my missions. My log. No, missions. Flora, Flora the Star Lance. Top priority, hidden tomb, perhaps, uh, perhaps Dr. Rima. Okay, so it looks like that's all the stuff we kind of have right now. So maybe we'll go back and talk to Dr. Rima instead. So we'll go back and jump through there real quick and see if they can give us anything. I really wanted lasers. They're not being cooperative. They don't even have a... Uh, and probably what I'll do is I'll go back into uh, the devout space and uh, have chats with them. They they seem to, to have like having conversations uh, that you know ended bullet fire and, and explosions. Hi shields. I love my shields, and with two shield generators, it 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 takes a it takes a lot to get through my shields. All right, let's try this. Operations, Dr. Rima. Uh, nope, there's nothing good there. She's useless to me. All right, so that is, uh, I guess, for now, uh, we'll do that. I'll do some, some uh, work between episodes to get some more uh, stuff so we can get into the cruiser body, uh, and we will go from there. So with that, hopefully you guys are enjoying this as much as I am, uh, and we will talk to you all soon. Talk to y'all later.